All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. And today we are gonna be doing a quick double showcase slash comparison between the two new Global versus JP campaign reward units for this year. And they are the Tech Super Saiyan Angel Vegeta, you see on the screen right now, as well as this Int Super Saiyan Goku. Now, from what I've been told, the winner of the campaign is gonna be getting the Goku, whereas the loser will be getting Vegeta. But the funny thing is, based on my conversations with people so far, it seems like most of us actually want the Vegeta a lot more than the Goku. And if you think about it, it really makes sense because there's just way too many Super Saiyan Gokus in the game already. And we don't really need another one. Whereas, you know, Vegeta is much more unique. In fact, I think he might be the only Angel Super Saiyan Vegeta in the game right now, like standalone Angel Super Saiyan Vegeta. Obviously, there are cards out there that include him, like the Fizz LR Gogeta or the STR LR Vegito that just came out. But as far as Angel Super Saiyan Vegeta by himself, I think this is the only card. I think it is. Anyways, he's much more unique, much more special. And from a collector standpoint, definitely a lot more desirable than the Goku. But that being said, we're not here to determine who's more desirable. We're here to determine which unit actually performs better. So with that said, let's jump into it. We have both of the units on the first rotation here. And uh, let's give them a few orbs and see what they can do. Now, one thing I do want to note is that it's slightly unfair, at least this rotation is, because Goku gets an extra link compared to Vegeta. All right, so Vegeta has four links. Goku gets Kamehameha on top of the link that Vegeta gets. So it's going to be a little bit skewed, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. All right, so first turn, we're getting supered. Vegeta's not going to take this well. Uh, 87k, I mean, it could be worse. It could be worse. So our attack goes up to one, just over a million. We got the additional two. And Goku gets 1.37. Okay, so about 370k. And he got a normal additional two. Interesting. But uh, yeah, about 370k more than Vegeta got. But once again, he got Kamehameha, which is an extra 10% attack. But of course... If it was just 10% more damage, then uh, Goku would have had like 1.1, 1.2-ish, but he got 1.37. So from what I can tell right now, Goku definitely seems to be the harder hitting unit, but it's a very small sample size, right? So we're going to wait until we have a little bit more information before we jump to conclusions. Okay, to be honest... <laughs> I already knew that Goku was the better unit before I started the video. This was just a good excuse to, you know, make a double showcase for them. Um, realistically, the Goku is, for the most part, going to be the better performer, right? He just has a better passive. Um, his stats are actually a little bit worse than Vegeta's, I would say, because Vegeta has about 300 more attack, whereas Goku has less attack, but more HP, which doesn't really matter that much, and they have the same defense stat. But with the way their passives work, Vegeta needs to take a hit first to get his full passive, whereas Goku can just straight up attack and get his full passive, right? So, um, yeah, Goku's just better. He's just a better unit. I mean, it's always been that way, though. B basically, for the last couple of years, the, the winner card has always been the better card to get because uh, most of the time, the character you're getting as the winner just has more uses. It's in more categories, it's got better links and all that stuff. Um, so the trend continues this year where the Goku is better than the Vegeta, at least for the most part. But that being said, that being said, Vegeta is also really good. Like they're both very much usable units. You know, they're both very much um, solid free to play units in my opinion. But I mean, if you want to have one for collection purposes, like I said, it's not even close. Vegeta is definitely the better one to have for collection. Okay, so how do I... Mm, I'm trying to get through this turn without attacking, but I, I don't think it's possible. Like, we, we can't avoid a super with Vegito, so let's just give him one orb there or two orbs. 
and Kid Buu cannot super, and Sandman cannot super. Okay, there we go. I want to get it, like at least one more rotation out of the uh, Goku and Vegeta. But as I was saying, the Vegeta is just the much better collector item, right? Because as I said, I, I can't remember. Like may maybe I'm remembering wrong, maybe because it's late, but my mind cannot remember another Angel Super Saiyan Vegeta card because I don't think it exists. So that, so like this, this Vegeta, the one we're showcasing right now is actually like super, super unique, super rare for that reason, right? Whereas, you know, you can find a million Super Saiyan uh, Gokus out there, right? There's like so many of them. So like, do we really need another one? Ah, oh, damn it. Uh, <laughs> hold up. I, I, I misclicked. I misclicked, but it should be okay. Should be fine. There we go. It's going to be the last turn regardless of what happens. And uh, hopefully we can see both the units attack one more time. Yes, we can. Perfect. Okay. So yeah, as you can see, Vegeta without the hit actually does a lot less damage, right? He needs to take a hit first before he's able to, you know, be at his max potential. Whereas Goku doesn't need it. He just straight up attacks and he's getting, you know, over a million compared to 600-ish K. And there you go, he finishes the fight, asserting his dominance over Vegeta. Once again, it is what it is. There we go. <laughs> and uh, that is the showcase, guys. I, I did a Dokkan event this time because I just wanted to keep, keep it like super short. It's not really a reason to, you know, make a 15, 20 minute video out of this. I just really want to show you guys like what these guys are capable of, right? And, uh, <laughs> Yeah, they're they're both very solid units, um, you know, as far as like free to play units go. But the Vegeta is definitely the more special one. Vegeta is definitely the one that I personally want more. So with that being said, global players out there, I, if you guys are watching as global mains, you're gonna be mostly playing the global side during part two. Then please try your best to lose this one. I mean. The, the funny thing is, in the past, we used to actually lose these campaigns to, to JP, right? But recently, it seems like Global is actually doing much better, like trying much harder than JP. I'm not really sure why the shift happened. But uh, yeah, this time around, let's, let's try to lose it. We're probably going to win because that's been the trend recently. But let's try to lose because I want this Vegeta. I don't want the Goku. The Goku's dope, actually, because I like the art a lot. Actually, I think I like the Goku art better than the Vegeta art. But as far as the, just the character goes, gotta get the Vegeta. Okay, so uh, that is the plan, guys. All right, if you're if you're a global main, try to lose on purpose. Let's get this Vegeta. Actually, let me know in the comments down below which one you want more. All right, do you want the Goku more or do you want the Vegeta more and why? and uh maybe you're a newer player and you just want a better unit for running on your team then i get why you want the goku although even then there are better super saiyan gokus out there you can get for free like for example the uh, tech super saiyan goku and gohan i mean that is a phenomenal unit better than the, the reward one you can get here um, and you know, for, for Vegeta, there's also a lot of great free to play Vegetas out there. So like, you don't necessarily need either of these guys, but just as a collector, you gotta get the, the one where it's like one of one. There's no other Angel Super Saiyan Vegeta until actually the part two LR drops. Cause the part two LR is supposed to be an Angel Super Saiyan Vegeta, right? But, but for now, I mean, even then it's, there's only going to be two. I'm going on a tangent, right? I'm talking too much. You know what? <laughs> It's time to end the video. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys had fun. And uh, like I said, let me know which one you want more. Which one. Um, and that's it, actually. That's the only question. But yeah, guys. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys are excited for part two of the celebration. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And... If it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. 
signing out.